I'm glad we've come here to hash this out. Me too. We're gonna settle it right now. Okay. Are you ready? No. You never are. Nope. Let's do up. You're the most electrifying man on YouTube entertainment. Don't ever forget it. Hanging out today with the return of Tiffany Avatar. That's right, it's my girlfriend, the mermaid that swims with no fins. Don't say that you're gonna get fins. I'm gonna get fins. Just so I can stop saying the girl that swims with no fins. It's Avatar. <laughs> All right, so listen guys, we haven't seen Avatar in a few days, ever since um, two, three, maybe four days ago. Somebody said mean words. Somebody didn't walk on Legos. But All right, so- Saying mean words is worse than compromising to walk on Legos and somebody being so stubborn that they just couldn't accept a compromise. How about we pump the brakes, woo woo woo, all right? If you don't know what we are talking about, back at WrestleMania, we made a prediction bet for the best fantasy WrestleMania. We had the fans vote on it and do hop won. Loser was to walk on the Legos, barefoot. Never said barefoot. Come bet payoff time, <laughs> somebody, not do up, the loser, okay, refused to take off her big cushiony um, slippers, barefoot slippers. I bet she's wearing them now. Yep. Just yes, yes. She's wearing them right now. So she refused to take them off. There's no point of walking on Legos to have it hurt if you're wearing cushiony slippers. They're not cushioned on the bottom. Kiss my hand. So listen, I'm still a little upset about it. She didn't do the bet, in my opinion, as to the way it was happened, and I was angry about it. And then I said some terrible bad words and said some names, and then she was angry at Duhop. So we were kind of mad at each other. So we're gonna hash it out right now, okay? In the only you way that I know how. Besides saying, saying sorry. You should probably just do that. We're going to punch each other. We're going to get it out. Okay? So what I've gone and done is I went to WWE.com and I found some trivia. Okay? You want me to answer questions? Listen, Chris? this is going to be great. This is going to be fantastic. Do up will be your trivia master. Huzzah! Okay? I will read the question. You're not even getting questions? No, just you. Why? How I will listen, fair? I'll explain how it's fair. If you answer the question proper with the right answer, according to WWE.com, because they supplied uh, answers or questions and answers on their little trivia thing. Do I get choices? Some of them are multiple. Okay. If she gets the right answer, she gets to slug your old pal Duha. Yeah. But Avatar. Yeah. If you do not get the question correct. What if I get it half correct? If you do not get it correct at all, craft there's no no half points, there's there no quarter points. points. You have to get the complete answer as provided as WWI.com. If she gets it, she whacks me. If she doesn't get the right answer, Duop gets the slugger deep. Okay? Now I know what you're all saying. Why in the Lord would we punch each other? Well, I got a solution for that. Sometimes you just gotta... Wait, can I have the blue one? No, this is, this, wait, no. You get orange. So here we go. You would give me my All right. color. Do you want a practice shot? Yeah. Get out of here. You ain't practicing hitting me. You ain't gonna hit me at all. I'm gonna get you every time because it's not like you're gonna get these trivia questions. Listen, you don't know what I know. All right. right. Leave me alone. I can't wait to get. Mm, I can't wait to get her. All right. So listen, are you ready to fire on some trivia? No. I didn't think you were. But I got. This on for good luck. I got WWE.com right here. Question number one, Avatar. Are you ready? <laughs> Which superstar's entrance music contains the lyrics, <clears throat> and I quote, "They broke the mold when they made me." End quote. Your answers are A, Shawn Michaels, no. B, Dolph Ziggler, C, Billy Gunn, or D, Mr. Perfect. What is your answer, Avatar? That's too easy. It's Dolph Ziggler. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. <laughs> All right, she got it right. Bam. Are you ready? Um, yeah, I, no matter. Oh.
<laughs> I was gonna say, no matter how hard you hit me, it's not gonna hurt, but I wasn't ready. <laughs> Question number two, Avatar. Edge and Christian's famous five second poses were, according to them, quote, for the benefit of the, Ooh. or for the benefit of those with dot, 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 A, short attention spans. No. B, flash photography. Yes. I know I do Christian. I like them. I don't think you should get credit. I don't think she should be allowed to punch me for that one. Why? You I can't said... wait until you lose. I'm getting my fist ready. Fine. Come on. Come on. <laughs> At least, she, at least she's not giving me like the big roundhouse like I thought she would. True or false, Avatar? At 25 years, one month, and 13 days old, Yokozuna became the youngest WWE World Heavyweight Champion. True or false? False. You know who was the first young champion? The first one? That's not part of the question. Yeah, it wasn't. You're right. I already answered it and got it right. So you, you did. Get All right, I get punched. <laughs> Here we go. Should I close? Question <laughs> number four. Which superstar was the first to hold the Divas Championship in That's 2008? I mean, it's it's too easy. It's fine. I, I won't give you multiple it. choice. What it's is so it? Cool. God damn it! I watched it. Oh, son of a bitch! Here she is. She's gonna slug me again. <laughs> yeah. Question number five, Avatar. At WrestleMania 20, Goldberg defeated Brock Lesnar. Which I'm sure she's happy about. Yes, I am. With <laughs> this superstar acting as a special guest referee. Easy. 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 Do you know the answer movie. without the multiple choice? Yeah. Well, you know, then what is it? You know what it is? I, it's, I have the answer. I know what it is. It's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Damn it. I'm going to stomp a mud hole in you and walk it dry. What? I said I'm going to stomp a whole mud hole in you and walk it dry. Next question. <laughs> Which superstar said the following? <clears throat> I am not the biggest, I am not the strongest, but I am damn sure the toughest. Was it? That's easy. Although I disagree with it, it's Daniel Bryan. He is not the toughest superstar. It just says who said it. Daniel Bryan. And she got it again with no multiple choice. <laughs> Fine. Go ahead. You ready? No. <laughs> question number next. True or false, Avatar? Did you say question number next? That's not my number. Question number next. True or false, Avatar? Okay. El Champion, Chris Jericho. It doesn't say that I added El Champion. Chris Jericho holds the record for the longest intercontinental title reign ever. 454 days. True or false? False. That's your final answer, Avatar. I mean, 454 days, that's a long time. It is a long time, but I am 90% sure that's false. God damn it, she's right again. <laughs> when am I gonna slap you? Never, because I know my wrestling. You underestimated me. Go ahead. <laughs> Each time they get that much harder. It's like she's happy to hit me in the face. <laughs> Question number next. I don't know what number we're on. The longest women's championship reign lasted an astounding 10,170 days and belongs to which WWE Hall of Famer? A, Alundra Blaze? Nope. B, the fabulous Moolah? C, Mae Young? Or D, Wendy Richter? This can't be Wendy. I don't even know who she is. That's right. She held the belt for so long, nobody knew. Well, I, I don't want to answer for you. 
It's fabulous moolah. She's right. <laughs> and I'm irritated about it. You tried to trick me. I, I, you're damn right. I want to swap you one. Well, question you number me? next. Uh, excuse me. What? You didn't get punched yet. This is ready. <laughs> Figured if I didn't look, maybe uh, she would hit me. Of the following superstars, <laughs> who is not a former NXT champion? The Big E, Bo Dallas, Neville, or Tyler Breeze? Who is not a former NXT champion? I got her on this one. Hold on. Let me get ready. I got it. What? Tyler Breeze. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the last question. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. All right. Last question. Which superstar? She doesn't know this. Which superstar won the inaugural? Money in the Bank ladder match in 2005. Are you kidding me? You don't think I know this? Yeah, I don't think you know what inaugural means. Yeah, first ever. All right, she knows that. Which superstar? And I know who it was because when they came down to the ring, my favorite woman wrestler ever came down with them. It's Edge. Fine, there it is. Hit me. I hope you've enjoyed this video because I did not once get a chance to slam her in her grill like she deserves. I do not deserve it. You said mean words over a silly little bit. You handled it like a child, so you got punched. All right, guys. Say you're sorry. Sorry to everybody out there that no. didn't get a chance to see me slug you. Say you're sorry. Say you're sorry for not doing the bet right. No. Then I'm not saying sorry. One side is settled. What do you, you mean your side is settled? You said we were doing trivia to settle the bet. Right, now it's so, settled. There, you punched me a settled. whole bunch of times. Wait, you still said mean words, so let's go. Say you're sorry. Like the video, leave some comments. If you haven't done it already, subscribe for some more duo. I'm a pounder D. <laughs> Just say sorry. I'm not going to say sorry. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it, let go. Roscoe, get her, <laughs>